So now let's talk about multiplying and dividing integers. Multiplying and dividing integers have the same exact rules for both of them. So it doesn't matter if you're multiplying or dividing, you're going to follow the same rules. So a positive times or divided by a positive is always equal to a positive number. A negative times or divided by a negative number is also a positive number. And a positive divided by a negative or a negative divided by a positive, either one, it's always equal to a negative. The simplest rule to remember is that you have one negative, your answer will be negative, and two negatives, your answer will be positive. All right, so there's a really easy way to remember order um, multiplying or dividing integer rules. If you make yourself a tic-tac-toe board and your diagonals are pluses and everything else is a negative, What this tells you is a positive times a negative is a negative. A negative times a positive is a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. It works no matter how you do it. Negative, negative, positive. Negative times a positive is a negative. Positive times a negative is a negative. Positive times a positive is a positive. Negative times a positive is negative. Positive times a negative is negative, and so on. So that's a really easy way to remember your rules for multiplying and dividing integers. All right, so let's do seven times negative 12. Now, before we do anything, is your answer negative or positive? It's gonna be negative. So this 12 times seven, seven times two is 14, carry the one, sometimes one is one, is seven plus one is eight. So it's a negative 84. What about negative 16 times negative 1 fourth? Okay, so you need to change this to a fraction. Negative 16 over 1 times negative 1 over 4. Now remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. What's 16 times 1? What's 1 times 4? And now what's 16 divided by 4? Four. Now, what about negative 14 divided by 7? Because this does mean division. So how many times will 7 go into 14? 2, and remember 1 negative, my answer is negative. Now, this is tricky, and I'm pulling this directly from your homework. So negative 14 over 5 divided by negative 19 over 12. First of all, negative times a negative, what's your answer gonna be? Positive. So with dividing fractions, remember you flip the second fraction and change to multiplication. Now, you always wanna check to see if you can cross reduce. Can you cross, is there a number that goes into 14 and 19 equally? No. Is there a number that goes into five and 12 evenly? No. So you just do top times top, 14 times 12 is 168, and then bottom times bottom, 5 times 19 is 95, and you get to leave it improper. And that is dividing and multiplying integers. There is one more thing that we need to talk about with fractions and dividing. Whenever you divide fractions, Let's talk about this. This says I have zero pieces out of negative three, which means I have zero. But what if I had six over zero? This says I have six pieces out of nothing. Is that possible? No, you can't have six out of nothing. Whenever your fraction denominator is a zero, Your answer is undefined. So even if you have a zero on top, your answer is gonna be zero, but a zero on the bottom is always undefined. So let's take a look at a couple of more than one operations. So let's say that I had negative 15 
times negative 12 over 17 minus negative 3. So this has got everything in it together. So let's do the top first. What is a negative times a negative? It's a positive. 15 times 12 is 180. Now, what do we do here? What's a negative and a negative? And this becomes a positive. So what's 17 plus 3? 20. And now what's 180 divided by 20? So these cross off. 18 divided by 2 is 9. One more. Negative 3 minus 5. Negative 2 plus 6. So the first thing we do is what's in our parentheses. Remember, we have to change this to plus negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. The next thing we do is multiply. What's negative 8 times negative 2? Remember, if, there's, if they're right next to each other with no symbol, they're a multiplication. So 8 times 2 is 16. Negative and a negative is a positive. And then what's 16 plus 6? 22. And there you go.